started looking through the, um, the New Testament and um, she herself started to dig into the prophecies as well and it's, it's completely irrefutable. Um, she looked at the, you know, what are the chances of all of these things happening to one person um, and she came to the same conclusion that many of us will. Yes. Sister Orbe? There was a little sentence in there that I thought would, would, be, would be really good to use on our ministry, and now I'm going to give it a try. Someone that she knew said to her, how can you have an opinion on something you know nothing about? The New Testament. She knew nothing about that. And we meet people, I met someone on my course this week, that said people have against you to do with blood. And I said, often they make these assumptions, but they know nothing about the reasons why we don't have blood. So I thought that was so good. Excellent, yeah. So thank you very much for your participation. It's been a fantastic study. And of course, uh, when we study with individuals, we now know what to do. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep that if I can. Yes, by all means. Thank you very much, Brother Hubei, and to all those who want to share in that discussion. So, at the end of a meeting already. There was a lot to discuss there, wasn't there, this evening? We're reminded of the great value of godly wisdom, and how if we rely on Jehovah, if we humbly make use of all the provisions he makes for us, we can benefit from that amazing quality. We also saw in our demonstrations how we can really reason with our householders, reaching out to them and drawing them to Jehovah's word. We also saw how variety is the spice of life, so it would be good for us all to share in cart work wherever we can to make a real use of this provision. If you have any questions, please speak to Brother Ford, one of the group overseers, or many of the ones who are already involved. Um, and if our situation doesn't necessarily lend itself to that, as we saw in our video, there are lots of other ways we can get involved and show this generous spirit. We can reach out to different ones. So if we prayerfully consider our current situation, maybe look for ways, as the video put it, we just push that a little bit more. That we enjoy going to the Combination Bible Study as well. Just look at the questions in there, how they really help the householder to reason and to draw them out so they can come to knowledge. What a wonderful gift that book is for us all. This weekend we start the Sunday sessions of our convention. So we'll be looking at biblical examples of those who are peacemakers. We'll also have our public talk and we'll see there how it is possible to be Jehovah's friend. We'll also have more to look forward to next week in our Christian Life and Ministry meeting. We'll see how both in ancient and in modern times, the building work is a great shout of praise to Jehovah. So next week's students, we have Brother Simon Brooks has the Bible reading. Sisters Hannah Elton and Chloe Denham have the initial call. Sister Rianne Hall and Sister Sarah Nelson have the return visit. And Brother Steve Denham and Brother Richard Elton have the Bible study. We've just got a couple of letters to read to you, brothers. Starting with the regular August announcements. One worldwide campaign in September 2022. During September 2022, we will make a concerted effort earthwide to offer Bible studies to as many people as possible using the Enjoy Life Forever brochure. We should offer Bible studies while engaging in various forms of our ministry. Publishers who wish to auxiliary pioneer in September may choose a 30 hour requirement. Public witnessing posters. New public witnessing posters have been produced to advertise our free Bible course. The posters advertise an in-person Bible course and a Bible course by video conference. Posters have also been produced for sign languages. Circuit assembly programs for the 2023 service year. Printed copies of circuit assembly programs for the 2023 service year will not be provided by the branch office. However, electronic copies are available on jw.org and in JW Library. I've got a few dates for the library. 2023 Memorial. On Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, that's Tuesday, April the 4th, 2023, we will observe the Lord's Evening Meal. No midweek meeting will be scheduled that week. Additionally, please note that the 2024 Memorial Observance will be held on Sunday, March 24th. That's Sunday, March 24th, 2024. 
and the 2025 Memorial Observance will be held on Saturday, April 12th, 2025. Saturday, April the 12th. 2023 Special Public Talk. To generate enthusiasm for the memorial, the 2023 Special Public Talk will be presented the week before the memorial, during the week of March 27th, 2023. Congregations that have an assembly or the visit of the circuit overseer the week of March 27 will usually have the special talk or week earlier. Resolve monthly donation to the worldwide work. The upcoming service year, the congregation will be presented with a single resolution to donate a monthly amount to the worldwide work. The branch office uses worldwide work funds to support various activities that benefit congregations. Such activities include renovating and constructing kingdom halls and assembly halls, caring for incidents at theocratic facilities, including those involving natural disaster, fire, theft or vandalism, and providing technology and related services. And we'll be presenting that in a couple of weeks. Wisdom from the Gospels. <coughs> there are many open-minded people who have not had the opportunity to become familiar with the Bible. Therefore, we are pleased to inform you that a new brochure entitled Wisdom from the Gospels will soon be available in various languages. This eight-page, text-only brochure contains the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapters 5-7. to seven. It is primarily for use in the language fields with non-Christian populations, but it can be used in other fields as well. The brochure will be made available in print, digital and audio formats. 2023 Regional Conventions As recently posted on JDB.org, we are pleased to announce that the governing body has decided that, Jehovah willing, we will resume in-person regional conventions in 2023. Branches will now begin selecting venues. The dates will be announced in January 2023 or shortly thereafter. We pray for Jehovah the Rich Blessing to be with all those involved in the planning. One more letter, a little bit shorter. Resuming in-person house-to-house ministry. We are delighted to share the following news with you. On August 3rd, 2022, the governing body informed all branch committees that they may resume the in-person house-to-house ministry beginning September the 1st. After considering the local situation in our branch territory, we are pleased to provide the following direction that will be of assistance to you as you carry out your personal ministry. All should use good judgment when deciding whether to wear a mask when witnessing in person. When you approach people in the ministry, we know you will continue to show due respect and consideration for their feelings and circumstances. This would include maintaining a discreet distance. This is in harmony with Jesus' words found in Matthew 7 verse 12. All things, therefore, that you want men to do to you, you must also do to them. Mask wearing at congregation meetings. For the time being, we strongly encourage all to continue to wear a mask at congregation meetings. One final announcement, another date for your diary. We have the visit of a Bethel speaker on Saturday the 22nd of October and Sunday the 23rd. From the Saturday, from the 22nd of October, there will be a service talk here at the hall at 5pm. You're all welcome. And on the Sunday the 23rd, there will be the ministry effort in the morning at 10am and then the public talk by this Bethel speaker at 1.30. That's all from me. Now we conclude in song with song number 14, Praising the Earth's New King. That's which Brother Angus will close in prayer for us. Song number Sound 
spiritual food that you have made possible for us. We are grateful and discreet, sir. Father, we want to thank you for everything that you've done for us, the many blessings that you've given us. Father, in a world where there is so much uncertainty, I know we are happy to know that we have you to rely on, to guide us and to protect us in this time of the year. Father, we ask that you continue to shelter us under your wings and keep us from Satan the devil. We also pray for those in the congregation who are not well at this time, Jehovah. Please continue to strengthen them with your Holy Spirit. So Jehovah, please um, help us to meditate on the things that we've learned tonight about your son Jesus, for special use for us. And without him, Jehovah, we would not have a hope, or we would not have a hope. Amen. So Father, we ask you to help us to Continue on this long and narrow winding road. Give us the strength to strengthen our faith in this time, Father. So at least in the acts of your grace and in Jesus Christ, for Lord and I thank you. Amen. Amen. Hello there. Hi. Nice to have you with us. I'm Andrew. Jonathan. Jonathan, where are you from, Jonathan? From Nuneaton. From yeah. Nuneaton? Yeah. In the congregation there? No, no. I, I no. drove here because I was told I could get a Pure worship of Jehovah at last book. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Because I'd phoned Bethel and oh. they directed me to the local congregation. Right. So, um, yeah. And I, this is the only night I have free. Uh huh. So you, so, so yeah. you come here instead. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. So have you been associated with the congregation in Nani? Not really, no, no, no. I just live in that area and I, I'm yeah. interested in the Bible. In fact, I. Very good. I know the I know the New Testament yeah. very well. Yeah. And um, well, that's been interesting study tonight, hasn't it? Was, it? Going yes, through, yes. Through I'm that. very I'm very shaken. I must admit, I'm like Paul in Athens. His spirit was stirred, and he was yes. troubled in his spirit yeah. to hear about our Lord Jesus Christ being called a thing. Yes. yes. Someone called, referred to him as a thing. Yeah. yeah. But he's not a thing. No. The Lord Jesus Christ. He's the Son of God. He, he's the Son of God. Yeah. Personally, I believe he's God manifest in the flesh. Right. Because and, and he is the he was the Christ at his birth. Someone said, yeah. You know, in Luke chapter two verse eleven, the shepherds have said to them, "For t I bring you good glad tidings of great joy. Yeah. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, yeah. who is Christ the Lord. You yeah. see. Yeah. And I was very grieved to hear that. I mean. Yeah. It's a shock to me, I must, right, I must say. Right, yeah. But, um, so, the book you were after was? Pure Worship of Jehovah. I believe it's on Ezekiel. Yeah, I don't know whether that's still in People print. were studying it in lockdown. Um, right. When I, I did attend some Zoom meetings. Uh-huh. And um, I'm just... Yes. Hi. Jonathan. Hi, Ronette. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice Are to meet you. Are you joining us? Joining you? Um, congregation. I'm no. I'm not joining the congregation. No, I'm not. A, I'm not. A not a Jehovah's Witness. Um, but I'm interested in the in the Bible, and I thought I'd come along and find out more. Good. I was. I attended a. Yeah. What I meant was. No. Yes. <laughs> Are you coming to our meetings again? Yes. Not, well. Not Possibly yeah. I will, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's what this I meant. Is the, is this is the evening you have off. Yes, Wednesday's the Wednesday. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Yeah, I'll see if I don't think yeah. that book is in print anymore. Okay. The pure worship of mankind, the um, pure worship of Jehovah restored at last. It was on. It was on Zoom. They were studying it last year and not in lockdown. On Ezekiel. The pure wheat worship, yeah. Oh, it's Ezekiel. With the mountain on the front. Is that what it's called? Because I don't know. Ezekiel book. Yes, Ezekiel. Yeah. Yeah. In my tablet. Pure worship of Jehovah restored at last. Can I have one in there? This is my wife, Carol. Yeah, because I... Hi, Jonathan. Hi, yeah. Hi, Pat. Yes. We won't remember us all, but we'll remember you. Yeah, Ronette, Pat, and um, this lady, um, don't tell me. Uh, Kathy. Carol. 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 Yeah. Yeah, nearly, nearly. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice I was just saying, where, yeah. Where, where, where are you from? I'm from Nuneaton. From Nuneaton? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very good. But, uh, but yeah, so um, I just came along um, because I this is the only night I have off. And um, I'd been attending some Zoom meetings um, last year, a couple of, one or two. And... Um, I called Bethel and they said uh, that you can pick up a book here, Pure Worship of Jehovah Restored at Last. And, um, You'll have to excuse me a moment, John. All right, sir. Yeah, yeah. Shall I ask? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was told I could get the Pure Worship of Jehovah Restored at Last book at the local congregation. I phoned Bethel, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a look for you. Yeah, I was on... Jonathan, I was on the Zoom meeting. Like, uh, yeah, right, Simon, mate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, um, it's, and it's, um, don't, <laughs> don't tell me. Because, um, it's, um... <laughs> what we need, no, no. Jonathan, is... is if you, need, you need name tags, but, um... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, um... It's not Kathy, because you said, look... Near. Carol. Carol. Well, now can I forget that, man? Carol. I won't forget it again. Yeah, no. I can no. only think of one thing at once. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm not a woman. <laughs> you know, like That's um, God true. made us with like so many chromosomes. Yeah, yeah. I think one's got more I think, than the well, other. I think it's about using both sides of your brain at the same time. It is. It? it certainly is. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's something like that. Yes. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm mean, just gonna have a look now and see if oh, it's good. got one. Oh, good. 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 Yes. If not. Um, yeah. You can, you can, if, if you got yeah. uh, Hi. Hi, I'm not Hello. here. Jonathan, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if not, you can, you, you can, um, yeah. if you've got the JW library app, or so you can download it off that. I've got a, um, is that on the website, jw.org? Let me have a look, let me get my okay. tablet. jw.org, yeah. Hey, there we are. Great, mate. Oh, grand, man. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah, they were studying that, weren't they, in the lockdown? On Ezekiel, I'm interested in, in that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Um, come and visit us again, maybe, on the Yes, day. God willing, I'll come again. Yeah. Good. Yeah, um, I've just got to get my bag, Carol. So, um, uh, uh, do you live in Burbage? Is this area Burbage? Well, this is Burbage Congregation. Yes. But it, um, well, we actually just live in Hinkley, but we're in the, the territory that our congregation does. Yes. So um, so there's three congregations meet here. So there's Burbage, there's yes. Hinkley, and there's Barwell. So yes. we share the hall. You know? Yeah, yeah. So um, is it Stocking Ford, uh, Back Kingdom Hall? That, um, I, I've been to Stocking Ford. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I, the one I went on Zoom meetings with was I used to live in Coventry. And I moved to Nuneaton. Yes. I moved in October last year, so right. I did a couple of Zoom meetings before I moved there in Cowden Congregation in yes, Coventry. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, 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 a guy called Jeff uh, Cubitt. Jeff Cubitt was like one of the elders there. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I, he was on there. And a guy called Alan Alcock was also a guy there. There. They're, they're the only two guys I know there, no, but yeah. they were in the Zoom meeting. You know, like him. Yeah. But Jeff Cobbett was the guy I spoke to. Yeah. But yeah. I phoned Bethel in London because I, during the lockdown in 19, 2020, 
I heard everyone, I thought the Jehovah's Witnesses had gone underground because I hadn't seen them anywhere. No, that's right. So yeah. I phoned them and they said, no, you can go on, yeah. go online. So yeah. I just said, at first I said, no, no, it's okay. Then I said, give me the Zoom codes and I'll see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, good. yeah. Good. Good. but uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I must say. definitely come and see us again, yeah. Yeah, no, I will do, man. Yeah. Certainly will, Carol. Thank yeah. you. Um, what, yeah. are you. Are you do you sort of work at the weekends? Or? I work in the week. Oh, you work in the yeah, week. Yeah, but, but Wednesday evening is the only time I really have available. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. Um, yeah. to yeah. go out and that. Yeah. I've got, I'm, a, I'm a married man, so I've got some duties to perform. And, of course you have. You know, yeah. okay, and I've yeah. got a family, a burgeoning family. Yeah. I'm a grandfather now as well. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, um, oh, well done. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. lovely. That's yes. lovely. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're always welcome anyway. You know Thank that, you. Jonathan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is my Hello. friend Rob. This is Hello. Jonathan. Hi, Rob. Hello. Jonathan. Yeah. Hello, Jonathan. Where are you yeah. from? I'm from Lenneaton. Oh, okay. Yeah. I grew up yeah. in Lenneaton. I did I'm school, so it was better. The, uh, we did the, in the French congregation. Yes, yes. Yeah. There was a lot around okay, there. Okay, yeah. We had a lot of calls in that area. French were there, a lot of French, French people. French Africans. Right? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, from yeah. Congo and et cetera. Yeah, yeah, Congo yeah, yeah. mostly, yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay. yes, it was an uh, interesting territory. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Very interesting. It was wow. funny, I remember one occasion going up to a block of flats, and outside there was a, two or three young African men. They're obviously dealing, doing something. And they saw us, put it away. Yeah. And then we had a lovely Bible chat with them. They were right. still respectful. They knew we were witnesses and they were respectful yeah. of us as witnesses. Good. Yeah. Nice little chat. And then we moved on yeah. and went back to their nefarious <laughs> ways. Yes. Yeah, it's a vicious world <laughs> like this. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Are you, say, are you visiting us? Or I'm just a visitor yeah. from outside, external, you know, yeah. like a. Good. Like so in the world, as they say, but I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Oh, okay. Person. I right. would have appreciated yeah. that tonight about Jesus. I, I was shocked. Paul. I found it. To be honest with you, I was grieved in my spirit, like Paul was grieved yeah. in Athens. Yeah. His spirit was stirred. It was to because I saw one lady referred to Jesus as a thing, but he's not a thing. He, he, know, he's, he that. someone called him a it, thing. I think, I think that's just, very bad. No, you know, like um, I think I know the New Testament very well. Yeah. And I know that he didn't become Christ at his baptism. But the shepherds, remember, in Luke 2, verse 11, said to, to you, is born this day. Keep the book, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. What was your name? I'm Phil. Phil, Jonathan. I, I meant to sort of talk to you earlier, yeah. but I got involved with other things within yeah. the book. So sure, I'm, you're a busy guy. I am a doctor. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry All right, that. Phil, thank you. Look, look forward to seeing you again, hopefully. Thank you. Yes, likewise. Yes, yeah, so he said, to you is born this day in the city of David a saviour who is yeah. Christ, who is Christ the Lord. Yeah. He was born Lord at his birth, Christ at his birth. And the question, who is Jesus, is Jesus is Lord. By the Holy Spirit, we say Jesus is Lord. No one could say Jesus is Lord. So that is the mark of a Christian in my mind. Yeah. Maybe I need to, when was that maybe Holy I got Spirit it wrong. Poured out on him there? When was that? Oh yes, at the baptism, yeah. the Holy Spirit was poured out. And but... Nonetheless, at his birth, that he was called Christ, you know, and, uh, and when, the Lord, and when did he learn, by the angels. And when did he learn all about himself? Um, well, um, as he grew up, I'm sure he had some consciousness. Uh, yeah, but he was in the temple at all. Import. What did the scriptures say about yeah. when he learned? Oh, well, he started his ministry. Yes, at about yeah. thirty years of age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, Which went, was right, yeah. when he went into the wilderness. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah and was tempted days. of the devil. Yeah. After this yeah. Back, he then found out exactly who he was. I mean, he knew he was the Messiah and all that. Yeah. All of his memories, all of his knowledge, mm -hmm. all of that was given to him then. So he fully became Jesus at that point. You know, sure, but he, he, he must have grown up as oh, a young yeah. Jewish man, he knew young he lad, was, he was learning the scriptures, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. mighty, yeah. And, and he was oh, sinless. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how yeah. can you be sinless yeah. and not know um, that you're the very Christ? Oh, he would have known he was. You know, like, yeah. uh, you know, the... He would have known what his destiny was. But, uh, yeah, yeah. With yeah. all of his heavenly memories, all these direct knowledge. The I, I think of Jesus because he because it said like the at his baptism the heavens were opened. Yes. And then Jehovah God, the Creator, his Father, said, "This is my Son, mm. the Beloved, in whom I am well pleased." Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. So it was very, from very pleased. That yeah. It was really the start of his ministry. So for three and a yes, half years. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, mm. yeah. But he emptied himself. Philippians two says. Yeah, he, did. he being in the form of God. Thinking equality with God not something to be held on to, 
or grasped, emptied himself and became, and took upon him the form of a servant, was made in the likeness of men. So he was restricted as a man. You know, that's why you well, could say my father is greater than I, because... He is this immensely powerful but, spirit, spirit creature. Well, he's, I, I can't say he's a creature, but this is what I'm battling. To sort of a well, creature is a creation. Because the Bible tells me. It's a creation. That's all yeah. it means. Yeah, but he's not a creation. He, it says in 1 Colossians 1 1 15. Um, for by him were all things made created yeah, he in was heaven the and earth. But it does describe and him as he being is the, the firstborn of all That word creation. prototokos. Firstborn. The heir. Yeah, of all creation. It's like the heir of all things. Because you see, well, if he was God. It doesn't mean, in the Greek, it's not firstborn. What did he born. say tonight in the study? It said that he was the yes. firstborn. Yes. He was the only creation of God. So God created him, and then by means of him, everything mm. else was created. created. So when things started, you've got God, he created his son. Yeah. And then together, there was no universe, they created mm -hmm. everything. They were master, mm -hmm. he was Jesus a master worker. Was his wasn't master it? worker, yeah. that's what the scriptures were tonight. We heard Proverbs like, yeah, that, that's, talk, that's wisdom. It's a female. If you read Proverbs 6, 7, and 8, it's a what wisdom stands in the streets calling, yeah. come. You know, it's well, a it's female. Wisdom, it's wisdom personified yeah. in a way, yeah. isn't so, it? Yeah. And those um, things apply to Jesus Christ. They, they, they could, I, know, I know so a lot of Christians do believe that it mm. refers yeah. to Christ. Um, the thing is, I can't seem to, you know, see in the scriptures that.